Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of the 10 minute drawing challenge where I challenge myself as well as you to draw as much as you possibly can within 10 minutes. Now, for me, this one was a learning experience because for the past a lot of videos, <laughs> I think almost 72 videos, no, that's not true. But for the past couple videos, I've been drawing on this tone paper from Strathmore. I really got to know how to use it, how the, the ink was working, how my pen would work, you know, how the markers worked and everything was going great, right? And then it's like, okay, well, the foot was the last drawing that was in that book. And so now I had to switch to something different. And it is the, uh, it is a white sketchbook. It's a really cool, um, book you can pull it out you know put them back in and it's perforated and stuff like that so I was like ah oh, this is gonna be great this is gonna be great paper right and it's just paper so there's there shouldn't be a problem there was a learning curve I'm not even gonna lie to you like I don't actually like the way that um, this one came out because I even drew Jenica so I had to make up for my folly of not drawing Jenica beforehand so I went ahead and drew uh, drew her and you know what it a I did not finish in time so the turtles once again kicked my butt so I didn't finish but I started realizing like the marker I was like ah man I don't I don't know maybe I need to switch to markers when it comes to this white paper or you know maybe it's just I need something else I don't I don't know and one of the things that I start realizing is that with this paper this pen actually is um, the ink sits on top of the paper so it's more it's easier to smudge and for those of you who know me I don't like smudged you know smudged ink I don't like smudged markers so this was a huge learning curve you know and I'm like oh I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on you know on the camera the first time I didn't try it out um, I was like eh, it's okay I'm gonna make sure that this happens you know but that's a huge thing to know it's like no matter what you get there's always going to be some type of learning curve that comes with it because if it's new you haven't used it yet you haven't practiced it yet and so you don't know what's going on like i didn't know just how much ink i was going to have to put down for the markers like i like the white you know it lets the colors pop it lets it show and all that stuff but you know i don't I don't know like it, it was so hard for me and it took me like almost an extra two minutes to finish this character and you know I had to go over the inks a lot or over the colors a lot the blacks were faded and I you know I can say that maybe it was the pen I don't know but there's a lot of factors that made me question this paper so we're gonna have to see I'm gonna do a couple more you can join me find out if it gets any better with this paper and if we're going to be switching back to the toned paper from before, uh, only time will tell. <laughs> so if you are looking to do the 10 minute challenge and you need markers, head on over to Marker Universe. Make sure you use the discount code Kaiser54 and get 10% off your entire purchase. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you at the next one. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to check out some of my other videos, click on the link on your right. Or if you're interested in a more behind the scenes and personal look at what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, please click on the link that leads you to the vlog. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the next video.